What's up guys, welcome to Flash Tutorials and this is How to Make a Car Game Episode 3. Alright, so let's pop on to the Unity. Alright, so um, today we're going to create a script that will going to make our car move. Uh, so, and uh, yeah, so let's just start by creating a folder and name it a script. Scripts and create a JavaScript inside of it. Name it car control. V R Mobile Control Script. And let's open it inside of uh, your code editor program. What? All right. Now let's start by creating some variable so let's create a variable name it to uh, wheel fl is gonna be an up type wheel collider end of the statements copy paste we're gonna take four variables like that fr copy all of them is then so it's gonna be RR. All right. So V level means front left, front right, uh, rear left, rear right. Or and these all are of type wheel colliders. So let's go inside of Unity and pull this script inside of your car game object. And I can see um, there are four empty assigned variables. Now assign these. Uh, now we need to assign these variable. And we're gonna do it real quick. So go to the wheel colliders and drag all the wheel colliders of same name inside of your script. And RR. Okay. So let's go again inside of the car. Now let's change the function update to function fixed update. Now uh, you're gonna ask me why I did this. Now uh, I did this because. Uh, Function update can only be called once per frame, but function fix update can call multiple times per frame, and uh, uh, that's why it is good for simulation and uh, simulation like physics simulation. And uh, if you are using any sort of vehicle physics, then use the fix update. This is pretty cool. All right, now uh, let's create a uh, let's create a script that we're gonna make our car move. Okay, so let's take the wheel uh, RR. Uh, variable and uh, let's uh, take this motor torque variable on and it's gonna be equals to now um, what you have to do is to create another variable variable max torque max torque is gonna be an up uh, weight this is gonna be an up by float variable which is gonna be equal to 50 by my guess alright so uh, well, what is uh, motor torque inside of Unity? Now, motor torque is uh, like uh, almost same as uh, the torque we use in real world. It is uh, uses as a twisting force that tends to uh, cause rotation. So uh, that's what. Uh, so this is exactly the same what I do uh, inside of Unity. So let's uh, take max torque, and we're gonna multiply it to. Uh, let's say input dot get axis get axis and the axis is uh, uh, vertical I guess vertical and copy this whole line and paste it again over here oh wait paste it again over here and link this RL to RL because uh, we are of making this a uh, real wheel drive car and that's why we're gonna do this alright so let's add some steer angle to the car so in order to do that what you gotta do is to take the front variables fl dot steer angle sorry dot steer angle I guess oh yeah fl dot steer angle equals to 10 and we're gonna multiply it to input dot get axis horizontal horizontal 
and we're going to copy this whole thing. Um, uh, yeah, and make it uh, FR. Okay, so this code will gonna help our card to move. So let's test it. All right, so we'll wait for it to compile. All right, now it's compiled. Let's check it. All right. Oh yeah, it is pretty fast. Wait, wait, wait. Now change the mass to 1,500. That we're gonna make this car realistically move. Uh, when we apply the suspension and the other codes to it. So let's run it again. All right, now you can see this car is not that stable. If I turn it real quick, it's going to flip over. So we we need to make this car stable. So in order to do that, what you got to do is to change its center of mass Y position. So the best position for the center of mass is, uh, uh, by my guess, is uh, minus 0.9. And uh, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so in order to access the center of mass inside of uh, a rigid body, what you gotta do is to type rigid body, rigid body dot center of mass dot y is equals to minus 0 0.9, sorry, 0 0.9, and end the statement. And now, uh, well, what this we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna assign the center of mass y value to minus 0 0.9 in the uh, in the real in the very beginning of the game uh, and uh, uh, that's why you know, because I wanted to assign it in the real beginning of the game so that's why I assigned it inside of uh, this function start this function will gonna run when the object is gonna get enabled uh, at the very first time okay so uh, so yeah, and uh, by default, the uh, x-axis and the z-axis of the center of mass is uh, set to default uh, set to zero. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's test this. Uh, uh, so let's test the car again. So let's play it. And uh, now you can see the car is not flipping that much, and it is now stable. So. Now what we have to do is to make the tires rotate, and uh, we need to assign. We need to make this car real good, and make the suspensions, the springs, and everything. So that will gonna take a while in our next episode. So uh, till then, goodbye guys, and keep making games. And yeah, bye. And uh, subscribe me, um, like it, and do all get do all the good stuff. So. Yeah, bye, and uh, make sure you save the project. Okay, now, bye.